basic uses and properties of text field. Text field is a widget that helps us with getting users input data. Decoration property of text field lets us decorate out text field in many ways. It takes an input decoration object which contain various properties that help us in decorating the text field. Such as border property, it helps us with whether we want to add border or not or even just a plain bottom line which is the default object in the text field. Outline input border object provides border around the text field. I wrap the text field in a padding so you could see it clearly in the simulator. Underline input border object provides just a plain bottom line to the text field, which is actually the default border. Fill color property of input decoration is used for changing the color of the text field. For the color to be visible, we need to set fill property to true, which is initially false. There are several ways to remove the border from the text field. One of them is by providing input border dot none to the border property. We can also remove border using outline input border or underline input border by using their border side property. The advantage of using them is that we have an extra property that is border radius which lets us change the redness of the text field border. Obscure text property is used when the user want to hide the value that he is providing, such as password. It is a boolean property, initially set to false. We can manipulate it in various ways, such as providing an icon button and on tapping it. We can change its value to either true or false. I set it to true so you can see it. On change property is one of the two ways to get the value of user's input. It takes an anonymous function with a value parameter which is the received value from the user. Keep close eye on the codes and simulator to understand it clearly. As you see I'm providing the value we received from the user to the variable I created. As the user provide anything within the text field we receive it on the variable. Another way to receive value from user is using the controller property of the text field. To use that we first need to create an text editing controller object and provide it to the controller property.
we receive the value from the user in our text editing controller object.txt, we can either use it directly wherever we want to use it, or provide its value to another variable. Both approach are valid and acceptable. Prefix icon property in input decoration left is provide leading widget to the text field and suffix icon property left is provide trailing widget or icon to the text field. Hint text property is used to provide hint or purpose for the text field. We can style and decorate the hint text using hint style property which takes a text style object. Label text property left is provide label to the text field. We can decorate it using the label style property in the same way we decorate or style hint text. Max length property left is set the maximum number of characters the user can add to the text field. And max lines property left is set the maximum number of lines the user can add to the text field. There are several more properties of text field which are rarely used. And another commonly used property is keyboard type property of text field left is set, which type of keyboard to show to the user. It taken text input type object, just provide the object and use dot number for numbers, email for email and several others you'll find it in suggestion list. Do try it out, it was left out in the video. That's all for basic use and properties of text field. As always thank you for watching. If my videos are helpful in solving your issues, support my channel, like the video and subscribe the channel. I will be coming with much more interesting Flutter widgets. Have a good day.